Missler from Missler's Furniture and Appliances. I just wanted to take some time to tell you how much we appreciate y'all coming and shopping with us this year. Hope that you do that next year. Hope that you tell your friends about us. But it is the Christmas season and as tradition is, I like to read the Christmas story. So I'd like to do that and you guys think about this as we read it. This is from the Bible in Luke chapter two. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria. Everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to marry him and was expecting a child. While they were there, <clears throat> the time came for a baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. You know, it's, it's been a tough year on a lot of folks this year. Uh, and now Christmas is here. Everybody's shopping. They're trying to buy the right gift. Some people are overspending, buying stuff you really can't afford. We need to just take time and remember what the Christmas season's about. It says this baby was a savior for all people. Not just me, not just you but for all people, not for rich, not for poor, not for black or white, all people. We need to remember that in John 3:16 it says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. The life we have here on earth is short, it's more miserable for some than others, but it's short, time short. Just ask an old person. I've got friends that are in their 90s. Life is short. We're all going to die, and when we die, you're going to go to one or two places, and that choice is up to you. If you want to go to heaven, you need to accept this baby as your Savior. This baby's not still laying in that manger. He grew up. He became a man. He taught us things and parables, and He died on that cross for your sins and my sins. And I don't really know what that was like, but it was so horrible that a Roman citizen could not be crucified. That death was that horrible. But He took our place, and even worse than that, He took our sin. He took it upon Himself, and by accepting Him as Lord and Savior as, and as our life, we can be free of that burden and we can have eternal life with Him. 
And you're welcome to call me and come by this store. I can tell you how to do that. We can study it together. I can give you names of lots of people in this town that can help you through that and help you look at that. And I just pray that you would do that this Christmas season. And please take time Christmas Day to remember we're celebrating the birthday of Christ. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Customer came to Main Street Service Center and he says, Kevin, I've I, at home I've changed my spark plugs, I've changed my fuel filter, um, you know, I've changed my wires, distributor cap and rotor, and I have still got a terrible miss. Can you all figure out why it's got a miss in it? And so we brought it in and let our technicians take a look at it. And he, he had a, a dead cylinder, one cylinder just was not firing. And this this uh, what I'm standing in front of here is a is a head off of a vehicle and it's a straight inline six cylinder. Well, if you take one of those cylinders out and it's just not contributing to the power anymore, of course, you've got some issues, you've got some power problems. And so what we did is, is we inspected the vehicle, found out that it had that uh, one cylinder wasn't working, and then determined the reason it was is because uh, valves, one of the valves was bad. And so uh, the customer opted to go ahead and remove the head. Uh, have it inspected so we take it to a local machine shop where it's inspected to make sure that it's nice and straight there's no problems with it we also have it um, uh, tested to make sure it doesn't have any cracks in it and cracks a lot of times on on a head is not visible to the naked eye there's a special chemical that goes over it light looks at it and stuff like that make sure that there's no no individual little cracks uh, across the cylinders and stuff like that because obviously that would deem it um, trash <laughs> basically but uh, this head actually wound up being okay this car has got a lot a lot of miles on about 200,000 if I'm not mistaken and so the customer opted to go ahead and have it rebuilt to replace the valves that need to be done and so we just got it back from the machine shop and we're going to be putting it back together and of course uh, once we get it all back together we're going to make sure that everything is uh, up and running this all cylinders are, are a go and make sure that the, the rest of the vehicle is in good shape and what I mean by that is is whenever a, a customer brings a car into us and we might be looking for it as far as uh, looking at it as far as what the specific problem that it's been brought in for obviously that's what we've been hired to do but at the same time while we're in the process of doing that we're also looking at the different components surrounding that particular problem to make sure that we don't see something that might cause that customer a problem a little ways down the road. Something for instance like we've got heater hoses at the back of this engine that are, are very brittle and very old. Well it doesn't have a, a, a coolant leak. That's not why it was brought in for. However this is the perfect time to take care of something like that because it's going to save our customer time and money because whenever that hose does go it's going to be a whole lot harder to get to it whenever the head's on the vehicle and so on. So we're looking out for our customers for preventative maintenance as well as maintenance needs that need to be done while we're doing a job and at least let them be informed of that so they can make an informed decision to go ahead and either replace the hoses now or, or try to do it later whenever it becomes a problem. But at Main Street Service Center, we're always look, we're trying to look ahead for our customers and try to do the best job so, so there's no unexpected breakdowns whatsoever. And of course, we know that's what we want in, in anything that uh, we hire somebody to do. We want them to look out for us. And so we try to provide that same type of service and quality service for our customers. Main Street Service Center has been in business for 25 years and we really appreciate the opportunity uh, to, to work on our customers vehicles and if you're looking for a good repair shop come by us come by and see us at 620 Goblin Driver give us a call at 741-4252 and we'll take care of you. See our ad in names and numbers. Hi, my name is Michelle. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to give you a little tour of Nature's Wonders and show you a little bit about what we do here. Some people might think, why would you come to a health food store to buy, for example, milk when you could just go to the grocery store? What's the difference? I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Milk that is organic is the same, cow, same as cow's milk, but it does not have hormones, it doesn't have pesticides, it doesn't have antibiotics. 
so it's just the same as regular cow's milk but better you just don't have all that junk in it so it's not watered down it's not soy milk it's not anything different it's just regular milk but better and we also have a lot of options like almond milk coconut milk soy milk rice milk for people who can't have dairy and have other food allergies that keep them from enjoying the same dairy foods that we enjoy now we're in the produce section and it's a very similar situation as the dairy. You can get organic produce, you can get non-organic produce. The importance of organic produce is they've not sprayed it with pesticides, they've not put fertilizers in the soil, so there's no chemicals. So what you're getting, even though it might not be as big as the conventionally grown or it might not last as long, you're getting a higher quality product with higher nutritional value. Uh, things that are uh, particularly important, like tomatoes for example, have a very thin skin and so so pesticides that are sprayed on them absorb really well into them. So you want to make sure those, those particular fruits and vegetables are organic. It's even more important on ones that have the thin skin that things absorb really well into. You want that nutritional value. You don't want just the biggest or the most colorful. You don't want things that have been gassed, sprayed with pesticides. You want the, the higher nutritional value. Now we're in our frozen meat section. Um, we're fortunate enough to be able to carry organic meats and also local grass-fed meats from Garner Hill Farms. And what that means is, is that the cows that this meat comes from have been able to roam free in the field to eat, to get their own nutrition, and they don't eat chemical or um, just late foods laden with, with, with chemicals that that put that into their bodies and then you end up in turn eating them. So grass-fed meats are much healthier cows and of course produce much healthier meat. And I'm saying cows but there's also there's pork, there's a whole array of different meats in here and it's so important when you're talking about meat, dairy, produce, all those things you get a lot of chemicals from those so getting organic uh, and grass-fed ones is so important. Okay, we also carry a full line of pet products here at Nature's Wonders. And the biggest difference in traditional or conventional dog food that you'd find on the shelf anywhere and foods that we would carry here is you'll look, if you read the ingredients, and it may be if you feed your dogs or cats uh, a conventional dog food, look on the ingredients list. and. I would venture to say that most of them, if, if there is meat as an ingredient, it's way down on the list. And it's usually either some sort of meat byproduct or corn that is the main ingredient in your dog's dog food. And they may eat it, they may like it, but they're not getting much nutrition out of it. And so our dog foods are, and cat foods, are um, grain free and you don't have that high corn content in them either and also meat is what's in there because that's what animals need to eat and so they're basically meat vegetables and that's it so good ingredients to feed your pet because it's just as important for most people if your pet's a part of your family like ours are it's important to feed them the same way that you feed yourself to get that high nutrition when you're in the store, make sure to check the shelves in front of the products that you're buying because you'll find these healthy clippings coupons in front of all the different products throughout the store. It's in every section there is a product, um, coupons in front of some of the products. It might be one of your favorite products and you can just take those up to the counter and use them that day and redeem them the time of purchase and they are throughout the store so look for those and don't miss out on those opportunities to save. We also have a full line of body care products here at Nature's Wonders and the difference in body care products that you would purchase at a health food store versus the conventional brands that you would purchase other places is that they have the parabens, the phthalates, the chemicals that soak into your skin and actually your body doesn't know what to do with them. Your body has to figure out a way to get rid of them and you may think that something you put on your skin does not affect um, your body that much but it does. Uh, our bodies actually absorb 60% of what we put on our skin so it's important to get lotions for example with no parabens and no phthalates and that's not the only two ingredients that's just some of the most common um, but there are a lot of other ingredients that you'll find on our labels that they're free of and also animal cruelty free which is important to us here and, and probably important to, uh, to a lot of you and so it's something that's important to find on the labels of the products you put on your body. Now we're in the supplement section and I'm going to go to a multivitamin for my example in this section because most people take a multivitamin or have taken a multivitamin 
if you don't take a vitamin that you get at a health food store, go and look on the label and see if it says whole food source or even food source. If it doesn't, your absorption is going to be lower and there's probably binders on those tablets or capsules or fillers in the product that either keeps your body from absorbing the product or actually causes your body to have to find a way to get rid of it and it's not processing it the same as it would a natural whole food supplement. So when you come into Nature's Wonders you'll find supplements that say whole food multivitamin or whole food nutrition and those are the ones you get the absorption out of and the nutrition that you're looking for out of your supplements. Next time you're in the store, make sure to look when you first walk in the door at our new rack that we have next to the counter and you'll find our sales flyers. We have two grocery ones that come out on the first of the month and you'll see that there's page after page of sale items. All of your favorite items on sale each month out of each section, whatever you might be looking for. You may find something on sale. We got great prices. And now, we just started in July, our supplement sales flyer. And it's just a front and back flyer, but it has just prices you can't pass up. So look for those when you walk in and they run a month at a time and they change each month. So if you didn't see what you want this month, come back in. Maybe you'll find it next month. KTKO Channel 8 Harrison, local television worth watching.